Hi, my name is Grant and I'm a doctoral student pursuing my counseling psychology degree at the University of North Dakota. And I'm currently getting ready to attend my pre-doctoral internship year, which is a requirement for um, clinical and counseling psychology doctoral programs for graduation and licensure. I picked psychology as a major um, because I was very interested in the mechanics of human behavior. Why I decided to eventually get my master's degree and then eventually get my PhD was because I wanted to learn more and I wanted to be able to do more as well. Um, after I got my master's degree I found that um, I reached a ceiling. I was very interested in teaching and writing and um, research as well and to do that you really need a PhD. Within counseling psychology there is um, there's, there can be a lot of differences, um, but most of the coursework is, is regulated by the American Psychological Association. However, there's a lot of different programs that emphasize different specialties, like geriatrics uh, or um, certain types of research. My program in North Dakota specializes more in rural psychology. Um, and so I was attracted to that program because of its emphasis on rural psychology, but um, most importantly, um, a big part of uh, doctoral work is working with your uh, doctoral advisor. They're the ones that um, help you with your dissertation, which you can't graduate um, and get your degree and get licensed unless you uh, defend your dissertation effectively. Um, they're the ones that help you with that and then also um, evaluate whether you're uh, you did enough work on your dissertation to, to graduate. So a big part of choosing your program is really locating a professor that shares a, a strong interest in what it is that you're interested in researching and, um, and then be able to work with them effectively. I think the, the best part about the program is really the academic environment. Um, my program, I, I feel that I'm very lucky in that they were very flexible in um, offering me um, certain avenues to, to explore what I felt was interesting and um, so there's core required classes but then beyond that you get to choose some of the, the areas that you want to specialize in or learn more about and of course those will also influence where your career takes you as well. Uh, I think the hardest part of any doctoral program is the politics involved. Um, the uh, Somebody once told me, and uh, I found this to be very true, that it's um, the faculty's world, we just live in it. So you really have to remember that when you're progressing and make sure that um, you pay attention to the, the, the culture there and uh, the expectations and you're meeting those. What I really wish somebody would have told me was about the office politics and to tread very carefully and uh, to just make sure that you're following the rules and the expectations, the unwritten rules as well, um, and uh, also that uh, you get out of it as much as you put into it really is, is the kind of the, the key component there. To, to actually get into the programs is very challenging. Um, less than 1% of the population in this country has um, professional degrees or PhDs. Um, they're uh, extremely competitive programs to get into and um, so you really need to start early if that's where you want to go. The other thing that um, I wish somebody would have told me was to instead of getting my master's and then eventually getting my PhD is just to go ahead and get my PhD. There's direct admit programs where you can go straight from undergraduate and uh, apply to get your PhD. It takes about the same amount of time um, and there's certain benefits like when you're applying for internship that you can use those hours um, uh, in a way that's very different than um, someone that has gotten their master's degree from another university that they did their PhD.